Hey guys, what's up? This is Abershake back with another video, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can speed up your WWE 2K17 PC game. So, in this video, I'll be telling you guys two ways to do that. The first one is for the people who are having just little lags and uh, the game is quite playable. While the second method is for the guys that are having massive slowdown in the games. So, I decided accordingly, so let's get started with the first method. So the first thing you do here is you go down to documents and then WWE 2K17 folder and open the config uh, notepad and edit the audience uh, tessellation, I don't know what the fuck that is. But uh, you can change that. Uh, by default, it will be on. You can put it off. And the other one is simple lightning. You can also turn it off and then save. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to turn on the simple lightning and then save. And that's it for the first method. After that, you should be getting some better FPS. And I think you should give it a try. Now let's go ahead for the second method. So, first I want you to check this out. This is my music channel and I want you guys to please subscribe it right now. I regularly post here my music and um, I'm kind of a struggling artist and uh, your support will definitely help me out. So, please give it a try. Please subscribe. Okay, so now back to the topic. The second method uses this software the name is cheat engine don't worry about the links I'll put it in the description so you need to download this this is cheat engine what this does is basically uh, allows you to s skip frame I guess but uh, nonetheless you get a massive and I mean huge uh, boost in uh, in your FPS so this is the second method but I won't suggest this one to be honest because it messes up with uh, you know it messes the sounds I mean the balance between the sound and the gameplay is uh, kinda messed up so I won't suggest you this but even if you are supposed to use it then I would prefer you enter the lower value so that would be good but uh, again if you're one of those guys who can play the game pretty much and uh, just need a little more boost then I prefer you go do the first method but uh, again if uh, the game is totally unplayable then I don't think you got a choice you gotta go with the second choice and the second uh, uh, method uh, needs this software the cheat engine so download this the link will be below and install it just do exactly what I'm doing you don't need any extra software that uh, it comes with you know like chromium or I don't know what the fuck that was just install it and untick any ne unnecessary options so once you do once you have uh, the cheat engine installed just run the game okay so as you can see uh, I've double clicked on the WWE 2K17 icon and uh, now the game is loading so till now the process is pretty much same we are just running the game I guess we have to wait uh, another interesting thing that this game do takes a minute I don't think minute uh, it do takes like two or three minutes to load up much like 2K16 had the problem earlier before the patch. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if you're facing the same problem, and if any one of you guys can fix it, I'll be happy to know. Uh, I've paused the video. That's why it looks like it loaded up early, but to be honest, it takes like three minutes to load. I'll be using the widowed mode for windowed mode for this video because I want to show you what uh, I have to do to to boost this game 
using Cheat Engine. There you see the base Brock Lesnar. So first let's have a look at my graphic settings. You can have a good damn look so you know the kind of settings I'm running with. But that doesn't matter. I mean, Cheat Engine is one hell of a software. You increase the value and it go, the game goes crazy. Seriously, if you want, the game can go uh, too fast. It has happened to me. That's why. So this is Brock Lesnar vs. Roman Reigns. I forgot the name of this pay-per-view. What was that? Washington D.C.? No. Capital Punishment. Okay. So, this is kind of a sample gameplay, okay? This time I'm not using any cheat engine or anything. So this is the kind of a speed that I am getting. Right, you can say, uh, you can see this is pretty much playable. But now comes the interesting part. You can see, I'll be using the cheat engine now. So make sure you run it as the admin and then click no on the tutorial and ask for the first time only then click on that green button and select the 2k17 icon uh, take the option of speed hack and increase the value and wow did you see that the performance is totally changed it looks much more fast and smooth If you doubt me, you can, you know, go back a little bit and watch it again. The normal gameplay sample I had and now this. You can see the difference for yourself. This is way too fast as compared to the normal version. So that's how simple it is to use the cheat engine. And the good thing is that the cheat engine works with 90% of the game so it is not only for 2k17 you can try it for various games I once even tried it for GTA 5 but just for just out of curiosity it works okay though so this is Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns So yeah, another thing that uh, I wanted to show you guys is uh, some people come in that while going into the crowd or the backstage uh, and the game gets a little more slow, then uh, here's the kind of a proof. And uh, while using Cheat Engine, you won't have that problem. Uh, if you still feel like the game is slow, you can always increase it to whatever the value you want and you'll see the difference so that is all for the first method and the second method uh, so the first method was just normal you just have to change two things in your game configure file while the second one uses the cheat engine the link will be down below and that is how you do it so if you find this video helpful please do leave a like and subscribe for more uploads and I'll see you guys in the next video. It will be a crime if I end this video without taking you to the suplex city. So before we end this video, here are a few suplexes for you. And uh, we'll end this video with an F5. So enjoy the F5 and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, I am pretty much sure you're going to subscribe. And that's all for this video as Brock Lesnar hits his F5 and it's done.